Hello everyone, it is your favorite snowboy, and I'm once again talking about Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s independent run for president. Now, if you're a longtime viewer of mine, you probably have noticed that I have mentioned RFK Jr. quite a bit on my channel in the past, even making a whole video on his campaign several months ago. But I'm not going to talk about his campaign in general today. Today, I am going to be talking about his ad during Super Bowl 58, which was basically a carbon copy of his aunt, Uncle Jack Kennedy's campaign ad in 1960. And I'm going to talk about the impact on his campaign, the graphics, the reactions, etc. But to begin with, we must talk about the background before the ad. So, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. first ran for president as a primary challenger to President Joe Biden in the Democratic primary and had been polling pretty well for a challenger, consistently polling in the double digits and even in the 20s at times. However, in October of 2023, he switched from a primary campaign to an independent general election campaign. And just like in the primary, he has consistently polled in the double-digit region, albeit less so, when the new year eventually came along. Meanwhile, a super PAC supporting his campaign, named American Values 2024, began plans for a pro-Kennedy advertisement during the Super Bowl. And since it would cost $7 million to even get a 30-second commercial to air, and no, I am actually not kidding, it was that uh, expensive. They had to look for outside funding and eventually got a majority of it, which was $5 million, from California attorney Nicole Shanahan, who, spoiler alert, would later become Robert Kennedy Jr.'s running mate. So, soon after that, they began working on putting the ad together, which, to which I will in fact show, show to you guys in a bit. Meanwhile, Kennedy was working on ballot access for his campaign, at the time achieving it in the states of New Hampshire and Utah, and continuing to collect signatures in more than a dozen other states. But then, the day of the advertisement came, and it would make a splash. It was February 11th, 2024. Super Bowl 58 was set to be played at Allegiant Stadium in Paradise, Nevada, in the Las Vegas metropolitan area. The Kansas City Chiefs were to play against the San Francisco 49ers. The Chiefs later eventually won the game in overtime 25-22. Now, as a uh, hardcore Niner fan, I am still salty and coping over the fact that they won, and I am pretty sure other Niner fans still feel the same. Anyways. The game aired on CBS for English language viewers, Univision, or Univision, as you like, to, uh, as people like to say in Spanish, for Spanish language viewers, a kids telecast on, Nickelode on Nickelodeon for cable TV, and on streaming services such as Paramount Plus, VIX for Spanish language viewers, and the NFL Plus. Trust me, all this uh, information will be relevant uh, later on. Okay, <laughs> Just trust me on this. Anyways, uh, this Super Bowl received a lot more attention than past Super Bowls due to an ongoing relationship between the very famous uh, singer and songwriter Taylor Swift and Kansas City Chiefs player Travis Kelsey. Now, for the record, I do not know why they both got that much attention in the mainstream media, but since I could give like two shits about them, I digress. Anyways, the game went on to receive a Nielsen rating of 43.5, which was very high for TV standards nowadays and approximately 123.7 million Americans watched the game in its entirety. And of now, of course, there's many more notable commercials than the one I'm about to show you. I'm sure anyone who has seen the Super Bowl do in fact know that, but since we're gonna talk about the top, since one of them, but since uh, the Kennedy commercial is the one that we're gonna be uh, discussing here today, as millions of Americans want, watch the game, game and the ongoing commercials, they notice one that standed out among the rest of them during the game. A man for president who's seasoned through and through. A man who's old enough to know. And young enough to do. Well, it's up to you. It's up to you. It's strictly up to you. American Value 2024 is responsible for the content of this advertisement. This commercial, which was indeed controversial, immediately made a splash. 
On Google Trends, RFK Jr. received far more attention on that day than both President Biden and former President Trump combined, and it was not even close. Everyone was shocked and taken aback, obviously myself included, as I was like, bro, there is no way this guy stripped up $7 million for this. And his supporters loved it, as well as some political commentators like Ben Shapiro. They seemed to like it as well, as Shapiro himself called it politically astute. But my god, everyone else hated it. Many people called this ad pathetic, a disgrace, and a blatant ripoff. And members of Kennedy's own family called him out for it, such as former Santa Monica Mayor and City Council member Bobby Shriver, who called out RFK Jr. for using the likeness of his mother, Eunice Kennedy Shriver, in the ad, saying in part of a statement on Twitter, or X as some people like to call it, she would be appall appalled by his deadly healthcare views. Of course, referring to Kennedy's uh, anti-vaccine uh, theories and all that. This ad was never shown on television once again, and RFK Jr. quickly apologized for the ad to both his family and everyone else who saw it, saying that his campaign was not aware of the ad being made and did not approve of the ad's release. Okay, now here is my analysis on the ad. Graphics and editing wise, I think the ad was poorly made. First off, it was very obvious that the super PAC that made the ad just replaced the images of Jack Kennedy that were in the ad with the images of RFK Jr. And then, as you probably already noticed, the replaced images wobbled and moved left to right as the ad progressed. In addition, the ad in general just seemed rushed as they just quickly stitched together parts of the song that they thought would fit best, which in my opinion do not. Firstly, the part that claimed that Kennedy was seasoned through and through is not really true, as RFK Jr. has never held any form of public or elected office. Secondly, the part that claimed that Kennedy is young enough to do is not really true, due to the fact that he is uh, 70 years old, and he w would be older than Ronald Reagan himself if he was somehow elected president. But then again, we still have we had 90-year-olds like Chuck Grassley and Dianne Feinstein serving in the Senate, so I digress on that part as well. But if I were the guys to be making the advertisement, I would make my own modernized graphics for it instead of just copy and pasting and just hoping for the best. If the pack did that, maybe the advertisement would get a little more, po a little bit more positive attention. In addition, I would have also used the fourth verse of the original jingle, which is about comparing him, Kennedy, to the others and answering straight as in my opinion, would make the most sense. In fact, I will make my own version of the ad, so please stand by as I get to work on that. So, here is my version of the advertisement, which will play now. Do you like a man who answers straight? A man who's always fair? We'll measure him against the others, and when you compare, you cast your vote for Kennedy and the change that's overdue. American Value 2024 is responsible for the content of this advertisement. So, there was my take on the advertisement. If you agree or disagree with that, please let me know. And for anyone who watches this campaign, watches this, is working for his campaign, please tell them to hit me up so they can... No, 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 no. No, no. I am just kidding. I would not sell myself out. <laughs> please don't quote me on this, okay? If anyone does, then I don't know what to tell you. Anyways... Here are my own thoughts on the advertisement. Everyone is voting for Jack. In my opinion, the ad in general was just distasteful and not a good idea. Like, if you want to do something that will get you a lot of attention as a fledgling third-party uh, presidential candidate, then maybe I can somewhat understand that. But if it's going to cause everyone else to hate your guts and piss off your own family in the process, then in hindsight, it was not a good idea from the beginning. Like you could have gone the you could have gone the route of what Jesse Ventura did in '98, and make ads encouraging people to not vote for politics as usual, and maybe that would have been helped the campaign even a little bit. But to blatantly rip off what many see as an iconic piece of American political history for a campaign that from the beginning 
has been filled with conspiracy theories, controversy, and scrutiny from the very beginning, then it is a bad idea, pretty distasteful, and a and in general a bad thing to actually go through with. So yeah, there that was my analysis on the Super Bowl advertisement. I tried my absolute best to be as unbiased as I can. But if you disagree with me on any point, then feel free to say it in my comment section. I won't stop you from doing it. But just please be respectful about it. Nevertheless, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Peace!